Hello everybody, I'm Ashok and uh, I did a ASIC project from July 15 to August 26 in Ufa in Russia. The project was called as Eco Future and uh, we were supposed to spread ecological awareness in, in Ufa. So initially the first week uh, uh, there was an ISEC buddy who helped me to reach my host host family and uh, it was uh, interacting with her and like um, and talking slowly in English especially it was very important because people don't uh, like it took some time for people to like understand what I'm saying so I had to like talk slowly and uh, be more clear so this was one of the first lessons which i learned it which also helped in my next internship in prague like talking slowly and being more clear and uh, um in the host family uh, i saw it was very different um, the house was like almost underground and uh, the host uh, the house was very different from how it is in india like uh, wooden and insulated because it's very uh, very cold there so you know the insulation the thick doors and then the host could not uh, talk in english so i i used to uh, translate whatever i wanted to say using google translator and then and then write it and then like read it to him and also it was uh, the first time the bathroom was very different in old uh, I mean, I think the older version of bathroom, like the ones which is in used in camp, it was like that. Like the there was a there was a WC and it, it didn't have a pipeline. Basically, they were composting uh, human waste. So that was like the first first one or two minutes. I was like, oh, okay, and uh, but I got used to it very weird very strange but i got used to it it was not a problem and then uh, uh the first week uh, we were just uh, meeting with the icicles and then talking with them and then uh, they told us what the project is going to be about like uh, what are we going to do in the project so there was we had to trek not exactly trek we had to take train to a place near the Ufa mountain and then and then um, work on uh, old uh, like old place where they make um, steel like I don't know what they say and uh, so there we were actually uh, removing stones and removing sand and all that so there are uh, a part of people in the project like we were like about 10 people and they they were not like happy about it because they 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 said that okay we are spreading in eco friendly we are spreading environmental awareness but we, i thought we were going to do presentations but what are we doing so there were conflict in between the group like inside the group that and among the person who was organizing it about whether we should be doing all that picking huge stones and sand and then like basically we were like clear, clearing an area so because of the conflict in like we were supposed to stay there for a week in the second day of the second day we were there second third day uh, three of the people from egypt they refused to work so we were the only ones doing six or seven people's work around four four of us four five of us and uh, that that to like uh, talking to the egyptians and resolving the conflict so that it, there's no point in like fighting with them we're not enemies or something it's just their point is right as well and our point and the person who was organizing it his point was that isaac told us that you are going to work for us so they, his point was also right so we had we felt like he was providing us food and and shelter and the, the whole tent and stuff so we felt we were obligated to work but uh yeah then that conflict was resolved then the other 
thing which happened was me and an Indian guy, me being an Indian, other Indian guy. The Indian guy got pissed off with me for some reasons. He felt that my behavior was not fine with him. And then he threw a punch on me. And then that, and then resolving that, and then I threw, and then I, I, and he threw a punch and I, I was like, I didn't understand. I was like really angry and then really calming down. I was shouting that, you know, I have to get this guy out of the project. But then I calmed down and then like after a few days, yeah, I met and the other people, the Egyptian guy surprisingly wanted to uh, get us together. You know, they, they were like two Indian guys should not fight and stuff like that. And, I was like, no, I didn't fight. Like that guy threw a punch, and then, and then I told them that it's not necessary that if some people people are from the same country, they have to like each other. But then I was like, it's okay. Like okay, he threw a punch. It's okay. I can take a punch, and and then uh, not making it a bigger issue was what I think it was a big lesson for me, uh, and uh, it. It kind of helped me to forget it and get over, you know, enjoy the project more. Actually, if I would have gone on to make it a bigger issue, I wouldn't have enjoyed the rest of the project because it was like the second week of the project, and there was like four weeks of project left. And uh, definitely, my friendship with my Brazilian friend Rafael and uh, Algerian friend Morat was amazing. They were the best in the camp. When we were there in the camp, we used to help each other. Get water. We had to walk like around two kilometers to get water, and we used to carry water in a huge rucksack, about to twenty kgs of water, thirty kgs. And uh, it wouldn't have been possible to carry that weight and bring it alone. I did it once, but in the second and third time, Rafael and Murad helped me out, and I'm really grateful for meeting such amazing people. And uh, the other thing, yeah, definitely Google Translator as uh, in double guess really helped me walk everywhere, explore a lot of places. And uh, the best part about Ufa, I mean, Russia itself was that they were offering free gym in every city. And uh, me and my friend, uh, we used to go to work out. And uh, right now I'm very thin and frail, but I used to be bigger before. And, and we used to use the gym to work out. And uh, one of these days, a person came and he was like repairing the, like tightening the nuts. And uh, he started talking with us. And we used Google Translator to like talk to each other. And initially, my friend was, uh, my friend Rafael was like, who is this guy? Why is he interested in us? And then it turned out that he was the uh, Sochi, Sochi Olympics organizer in Ufa. And... Uh, he was uh, in charge of the paintball uh, in Olympics or something like that. And he asked us to make a video to show that, you know, the importance of working out. And that was also great. And uh, also participating in a push up competition near the Bashkiria, lifestyle Bashkiria place it was amazing. I felt, you know, I could do some push ups. Through some 50 push ups, and they were like, Oh, hey, surprising to find an Indian guy <laughs> doing 50 push ups. I don't know, but it, it was it was great, you know, it was, it was a great uh, opportunity to do that. And then also coming on the on local TV show and then talking about the environmental issues, that was great as well. So getting an opportunity to come on TV here in India, they're not going to get me on live TV, but there I was. A special personality who they wanted to meet and uh, definitely my friendship with uh, Anastasia who who was my host in the second week she was part of ISEC she's no more part of it and uh, she she actually suggested me to you know she bought me frozen vegetables and suggested me to cook Indian food at her place and that turned out to be amazing like from that point on I cooked every alternate day till the end of the project. I cooked Indian food. And Russia, I mean, amazing 
the availability of vegetables and the produce and it's very cheap i really like russia for that fact that i could eat i could just use georgian spice and eat something which is very close to indian food it was like it was indian food like i used to even get curry powder in the supermarket so russia is awesome for indians i mean like unbelievable like i cooked almost alternate days i cooked indian food and i ate every day i ate indian food literally i cooked food and i could eat and then shout out to my hosts uh, shenya and alexander who let me cook at their kitchens like alexander let me cook for two weeks and shenya who's rishad's friend who let me cook for a week i used to make a mess of the kitchen literally like everywhere everything is all over the place then i used to clean it up because they used to be like a cleaner and then one day shenya had gone out for like two weeks he gone out for a, a camping and he had given the key of the house to me you know such nice people like so i had like eaten the food, i had cooked food and i left some of the mess and you know, shenya called me and was like yeah you know i want to meet you right now and then i went and shenya was like you shouldn't keep it the dirty and i was like sorry you know i'm really sorry really so i was scared like, but then it just turned out shenya was super cool and then i mean shenya was one of the coolest hosts he's just 21 he's like uh, my age he's doing machine learning and stuff and then he bought me chak chak and he bought me watermelon he used to buy food and like eat and he's an awesome guy we are still in contact with each other like most of people are still in contact with each other just amazing like I, i can't believe it like it's so strange like when you go to the other side in the eastern europe they like oh russian so oh. and when you come to russia you actually find out that russia is a pretty cool you know maybe it's the politics or whatever like but you know like i i found the people to be very nice and uh, moving on like i further met another brazilian and chinese friends in the project the project had like 32 members we were like literally discovering each other till the end of the project and and then we hanged out uh, outside together and it and it was like great you know like and uh, rishat was especially you know i used to feel like you know he used to be very serious about the you know like the meetings and stuff and i used to be that guy who used to be like well, why who gives a shit about the meeting like but i, I but it was like surprising to see that you know isaac and russia took taken too much i mean especially no for they taken too much so much care of us like you know hosting putting you know hosting house parties like there were literally like three or four house parties and whereas i was in prague and, and i was doing the edison project and there was no contact with the local committee i mean the local committee in ufa was really really engaging the students in the project i mean hats off for that and rishat was seriously rishat really helped me out and shenya was actually rishat's friend rishat really helped me out through that you know and rishat is actually kind of serious about all this and i was like how can somebody be so serious about something like i mean i understand the seriousness of the environmental problems but seriousness of having meetings and you know where you just interacting with the uh, students and stuff and i was like surprised about it and then later on i realized that e- they are important you know they kind of help you to like know each other better and you know discuss something which you wouldn't often discuss about you know? we we had like a debate where we were where i was supposed to talk about you know why i hate the environment you know and that kind of made me realize a lot of things that oh you know like actually i don't like like they there are these problems you know maybe which we should focus on when we are trying to spread environmental awareness um, like when you trying to like convince companies to not pollute they, they you know there are certain points which they would say that oh the, we but anyway we would need this to sustain like imagine the food industry making some food and you're like oh you're polluting and they would be like but how can you live without food so you know finding a uh, right balance about everything is also important that's what i realized and obviously the fun part definitely there was this group called the bash travels and i think everybody should really you know check them out we went to a waterfall with them and it was like crazy like it was like like the american high school thing you know like oh my 
car you know like people are like just jumping into cold water like sitting in bikinis everywhere and like oh my god you know i'm like in the right place you know and i can't swim but i was like okay fine you know i'll just like sit i just walk in water you know they used to ask me what is i just walk you know just walk to the place where it's shallow and you know they like, come back but my god you know i have to say russians you know they they are crazy you know when i when they drank milk with vodka and they put white chocolate in it i was like man this is this is crazy you know like you know, people are not lying you know? but russians are they are you know they're a mix of niceness and craziness i mean oh my god the other thing was like the jam the jam was so amazing the jam culture like it's so tasty and amazing i mean and uh, it, it is awesome you know like even the public transport is very cheap and and it, and the, the places they are so beautiful and they so different you know like it's so hot in kazan it was like hotter than india like i was like what's happening you know like i'm in russia it's not supposed to be this hot but yeah it's russia you know it has that diversity so big and really you know i wanted to go to the baikal you know but due, due to the six weeks thing i couldn't and i would probably probably come back you know anytime surely you know whoever is watching this video should hit me up on instagram and you know if you are from russia please and maybe you know i if i can arrange you know come to russia again I'd surely like to meet some of you and go to baikal because it it's fascinating to me you know it's it's a huge lake and it has its own ecosystem literally thank you have a nice day and uh, whatever you know rishat is a cool guy remember that have a nice day